Traders, what's good? Thank you guys for joining me for another episode of the Trading Journal. This entry is on 17th of May, it's a Wednesday, and today I'll be going through three different trades that I took on uh, three different Euro pairs, and I'll be honest with you guys, I've actually had better trading days, absolutely got butchered in two different trades, but you know what, we believe that transparency, transparency is key in education and learning, so this is why we do what we do and we are here to learn from my mistakes together. So the first thing we'll be looking at will be the EuroCAD. And um, I think I did this on yesterday's um, daily market analysis. We basically identified a very nice bet formation. And we had our decompletion coming right around here. And as you can see, I had my sell limit at the decompletion. And when price came up to my decompletion, my trade got triggered. And I thought it was gonna be a really good trade because, um, because you can see that price basically reversed right here on my sell limit. But um, I guess it found some structure right here. We had resistance previously, which possibly turned into support before price basically just stopped me out for about four, 45 pips. This was 1% uh, of my account. As you know, I risked 1% of my account. So I was 1% down in the day. Um, reviewing this trade, I don't think anything could have been done to prevent this, possibly if I had my stops higher. But who knows, I could possibly be stopped out if price continues its way up. So this was a, I wouldn't say it was a failed bet formation because price did reverse at the decompletion. Um, but um, it's something that I can look on in future, I can look at in future trades. All right, so the next thing we'll be looking at, moving on, we'll be looking at the Euro franc. And this was on the hourly chart. And basically we identified um, a bullish move right here. We, had a, we have a very nice bullish flag this is a pool right here and um, we have this very nice flag formation because price basically consolidated in this um, in this channel which constitutes and makes up the flag pattern of this of this pattern and as you can see I have my buy limit right here I was looking for price to come down into this area of um, support which um, it did I guess and um, you can see basically price consolidated for a bit played with my feelings for a bit before just uh, having a very nice, not very nice to me, um, bearish candle. And at this point, I thought, you know what, this could possibly be another bad trade. I've had one bad trade, so this could pot potentially be another one. And uh, around this point, I stopped, um, I closed my order for about a 0.5% loss of my account. This was about, no, I think it was slightly below around here. This was about 15 or 20 pips, I think. 15 pips. So. At this point, I was down 1.5% of the day, and I thought, you know what, this was it. I was just gonna close my lap, just switch it off, and uh, do something else. But then I was looking at the Euro USD on the five-minute chart, just you know, playing around with the charts, and I look, I saw this very nice um this opportunity that presented itself to me, and I thought to myself, why not just, why not? Yep, there was another bullish flag in play. We have uh, this uh, flag right here, and then basically price just consolidated downwards in this um, flag formation in this channel and I had my sell limit right here sorry my buy limit because I was um, looking for price to come down in this area before reversing to the upside but as you can see price con I, my order got filled and um, basically price just um, price just consolidated for a few candles for about 5, 10, 15 minutes before we had the breakout of the candle and um, this was actually 1% of my account I actually had my I actually had targets around here which uh, was 1% of my account and um, I was while the trade was in play I actually used um, the ABCD analysis which means that if we take a copy of this a clone of this and we pasted it at this low we can potentially take profits at this completion so this was 1% of my account and this was 1.5% of my account I took profits here and as you can see price respected this area very nicely and I closed out my order for a profit of about 1%. So all in all, I guess um, minus 1.5 plus 1.5, I'm break even for the day. Absolutely got destroyed in two big trades on the hourly charts, but I uh, made it all up on the five minute charts. So remember guys, risk management is um, the most important thing in Forex trading. So this has been my review of um, today's, um, today's trades, three different trades, absolutely but butchered in two different ones but made it all back in one very nice flag pattern on the five minute chart. So thank you guys for joining me and I'll see you guys soon for another trade review um, whenever I take the trades.